Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great, aka the Boat Dar okay, wait, no. Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great, aka the Toy Book, and in today's video we are coming to you with another toy review. Now in today's toy review, we are gonna be doing a toy review of I sp Oh guys. I speak so fast that I just lost my own breath and the video just started. Not a good sign. But today we are going to be taking a look at the Halloween 2 8 inch retro cloth line figures from NECA Toys, my favorite toy company. Here we go, here's a back package shot. Now the one thing about these retro figures is I hate opening these because I just feel like I am not a box collector but I just feel like I'm breaking something when you open this like really cool packaging. You know, even though these things don't, can't even stand, look, they can't even stand on their own. You could hang them up, they're really cool. They come with really nice art. It's, it's cool, but you know what? What we're doing on the channel is reviews, and plus, I wanna play with this guy. I buy action figures to uh, do toy photography, to play with them, to display them. I don't buy stuff to keep in the box. You know, not, if that's what you do, that's cool. Ooh, there you go, I just broke it, so. Let's just rip this open now. The cool thing about these retro cloth figures are they come with this really nice like backing. Like the ghost face backing was really nice. I like that art. This is really good. That's good. That's good stuff right there, man. Okay, so I just wanted to show that. Here we go. Tray shot for all of you tray shot lovers. And uh, this is probably the most accessories I've seen come with one of these figures. I feel like this is one of those figures that's going to jump in price in the future. I mean, these figures usually do jump in price. Now, was this repackaged, guys? I think this figure was repackaged. Look, this is broken in here. Hold on, let me take everything out. I hope everything's okay with this figure. I'm going to be mad if, uh, if they sold me a repackaged figure. Um... All right, so let's cut this guy out and let's see what's inside. All right, so let's take a look at the accessories first. Now, he has the extra head, which is really nice. I think this, uh, besides Ace Ventura, I can't think off the top of my head of another one of these retro figures that have extra heads. He has an extra hand. Perfect. He has a hammer. He has the uh, a knife, a skinny knife. And then he has the scalpel and the needle. Now. I rewatched this recently and I forgot how he basically has like I think the scalpel for uh, the scalpel for most of the movie. He doesn't even have he has like this knife. Um, I think this is the one he takes from that lady making the sandwich. He doesn't really have a knife much in the second part of the movie. Now, um, still really cool, nice accessories. Again, I think I said this already, but. This seems to be the most accessories I could remember with one of these retro cloth figures besides Ace Ventura. So I think they really knocked Ace Ventura out of the park. That is a must get figure and uh, I have a, a, a review up on the channel of that. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. So here he is and I really like this one. Now I heard people saying like this is the one to get and I am glad that I actually have two of these. I actually, uh, I bought one. And then I bought that lot that I was talking about in my other review. If you guys watch all my reviews, then you'll know what I'm saying. I bought a Michael Myers lot and this was in it. And um, so I have two of these. His, uh, his, his collar was underneath his thing and he got... Now I wish it didn't have such a ripped up um, suit, but I guess that's what he had. That's what he, you know, he did get shot six times and... Um, and he, he still did that whole movie. So that was the whole point, I guess, of that was uh, freaking out uh, Loomis. So he, does this figure have the double jointed elbows? I believe this has the double jointed elbows, yeah. And um, as you could, if you can remember from our previous 2018 Michael Myers figure, that was single jointed elbows. Now he has single jointed knees and, whoa, what is this? Oh, single, whoa! So this is new, this is new articulation for the legs. Now I think NECA is really pushing these retro figures and I'm excited. I want a jingle all the way Arnold for the retro line. Make it happen, please. NECA, you love Arnold. Make a jingle all the way line happen, please. Like, I don't know, I say this so many times and I, I did see other people saying it also. Now I have to say, if you're gonna get one of these figures, this is the one to get, man. I Look at this. He stands great. Um, oh wow! Oh, I really love this figure. I'm just messing with. Oh, he has ab crunch too. Hold on. 
Yeah! Okay, so this is a full new body. And I didn't even notice. Look, he's painted underneath. Uh, he's got a nice six pack. Yeah, Mikey boy. He is like 21, right? Um, he should have a six pack. Okay. If he's lifting up people, you know, he lifts up that lady with the. What is it? He had the hammer and he lifts the lady up? No, what does he have? The knife or the scalpel? What is he in the in the hospital? Guys, if you can remember, I just watched this. I have the worst memory. Uh, he lifts that poor nurse up with uh, a scalpel in her back, I think. I don't know, man, but they really outdid themselves with this body. So I could just probably uh, gush about this for like the whole time, but let's take out the other Michael Myers figure. And now this looks like a bootleg next to this new figure. Honestly, this looks like a bootleg next to this new figure. The mask is just so good. This is like, I'm just stoked. I'm really stoked to have this. I'm gonna do a bunch of toy photography. Uh, I'm making a whole retro, I'm gonna make a whole retro shelf. The amount of, the improvement in just what, like one or two years with the retro line is really impressive. impressive. So uh, the single jointed, no ab crunch, no uh, single jointed ankles, and then this guy is just like, he's just like a killer machine. Perfect. So cool, dude. Uh, let's see, what can we put? Here, let's put the scalpel in his hand because that's what he, the whole movie, he's just walking around like this. Ding, 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 ding. That's all like, I, anytime I watch a John Carpenter mu mov um, movie, I just picture him hitting a keyboard like this. Ding, 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 I was just watching Season of the Witch, my favorite, one of my favorite movies, not even a Halloween movie. One of my favorite movies, Season of the Witch. I love that. I love Tom Atkins. I love Season of the Witch. That's my style of horror movie. I say it a lot, but I just love it. I love God. And uh, you just hear that. Ding, 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 ding. The atmosphere of the music really makes or breaks a movie, and it really adds to a movie. I think that's what current day movies are just missing, that like atmosphere and that, that music. I just thought, just for fun, but uh, people like to compare these, even though I, I'm at the point now where I'm like two totally different toy lines. That's it. The Ultimate 7 Edition and the 8 inch retro line together. Uh, same figure, supposed to be. And it's funny now because this is actually more articulated than this figure. Or, I, I, I mean, they might actually have the same points of articulation, but this one could move better. And uh, I just thought I would show them. And I actually love both of these figures, but this newer one is definitely growing on me. Which one do you think is better? Leave a comment down below. I feel like I could talk about this guy for like 100 years, so I'm gonna cut it off there, guys. That's it. I'm done, and uh, if you're interested in my toy reviews, I have this coming up. Speaking of the cloth line, I have the They Live figure. I actually found this uh, pretty cheap, uh, because this this one's going up now that they're making the John figure, and they made that um, the guy from Scream, uh, the Scream Factory or Shout Factory uh, exclusive. I forgot that guy's name in the movie. But uh, we're, we're, they're filling out this They Live line, so I know this is going to be a hard to find figure. I actually found this on some random website that I was like, I don't trust it, but I'm going to take a chance anyway. And it actually came through and I got this for below retail price, so I was very excited. So stay tuned for a review of this on the channel. Hopefully you like this figure. Go, if you see this in the store, buy it. I'm not joking. This, mark my words, this is going to be like $200 figure in a few years. Easy. Uh, but on that note, guys, we're out of here. I have to go play with this. I have to play. Guys, play with your toys. And uh, stay great. Love you all. Peace. We're out of here. I just want a toy. I just want